Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any value in today, set entertainment, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. It'll, leak, it'll notify you when your new video comes out. Now, on with a video. It's the second part of UK penny stocks. I hope you enjoyed the first part. Well, we have AA8 Holdings, which if you went in when I spoke about it first, it would have been 110. Now it's back up 155, which is near the highs. But it gives you a 3% dividend. And don't remember all those people who were shut in. Will have been. There's a lot of people who are addicted to gambling. Who would have been. Playing that. Not that that's a good thing but. It's, it is what it is. Now. We have Tesco's. They. Are £2.31. From a 3.32 high, 3.99% dividend. Then we have Morrison's at 188 from a 2.11 high, 3.64% dividend. And just so you know, when I done a review of the supermarkets, Morrison had the best balance sheet at the time. I haven't checked them over recently, so. If things have changed, as a legal in general, I think I've already spoke about this, 229 and it's a 8% dividend. And they've already gone against Bank of England to keep their dividends, so they're not going to be cutting that. All right. So Sainsbury's, this is where it's wrong. It's got £20.30, 130 pence. So, I mean, it's got 201 pounds and 30 pence. Sorry about that. And it's got two pounds there. It's actually, if we see here, it's only 23 pounds, it should be. Uh, sorry, it should be. Two pounds thirty. Sorry. Now that doesn't say about a dividend. We can check here by putting in the ticker symbol S B R Y, and it will show us. Yep, two thirty one, and the dividend is one point seven percent. Now we. Have a bit of time, so we'll go to some that are just over the penny stock. Five pounds on the mark. I still class it as a penny stock. Now it's a growth stock as well because it was eight fifty. I said when it was lower, it, when it was four fifty one. As so again, it's not so showing the dividend. And should have a dividend which is four percent. There we go. And Barrett's development, which is five thirty. So even though it's not penny stock technically, you know, because it's over five pounds, I still put it in because you might want to wait for the pullback it doesn't show the dividend of course it doesn't why would it be accurate three point eight percent and you see there it was eight eight pounds seventy so it's also a growth stock now 
I can, if you want, give you some that don't have a dividend, that are spec stocks, but you've got Tello Oil, which could 10x, it was 251, it's now 2551. But then remember, if you saw my video on the Arctic oil spill, and of course the oil is at a low, all that affects it. Uh, okay, let's go with another oil one. Uh, go with a bigger oil one. And the only reason it's down is because the oil price. See there, huge. Now, it's, if it goes up to highs, it will be a 4x. But you see there. COVID-19 or Rony Rona for our friends across the pond just fell off a cliff and if we go before then look at that now remember owning now and selling at 300 and regretting it when it hit 478 I'm not regretting it when it come back down there. Uh, still, these are things we've got to look in. Um, there is another one. Let me see. This is one, there's a REIT as well. Let me get the dividend. Oh, this one doesn't pay a dividend, Grayland Gold, but it's been climbing and there's been inside the buying. So it's some gold exploration company. This one isn't so much a penny stock as seven pounds, but it's uh, to tell the truth when it should be at uh, nine forty one. It's more growth stock, and it's for Oxford Street, and it's all prime real estate in London, and the dividend yield. That's why I didn't give it because it's one point eight one percent. It's uh, and it's not just a re they do sell off land whenever they find it's good value. So if they get a good uh, price for their properties, they do sell them off. And that is when you see these spikes here. But anyway, please leave me a like. Helps with the YouTube algorithm getting the video out. And subscribe if you haven't already. I love every one of my subscribers. I'm at 32 now. As I said in a previous video, I am going to give a pound to my son for every like I get. And a pound to my son for every subscription I get. He's been my producer. My seven-year-old son's been my producer since I started this. And it started as a project with him. And he's carried on being my producer. So help him make some money and help me lose some money. I'm happy to lose some money to him. See you in the next video. Goodbye.